Jurassic World Dominion, the third installment in the Jurassic World trilogy, is set for release on June 10th, 2022. And while many fans were anticipating its release this summer, due to filming delays last year, the release date was pushed a whole year, giving the filmmakers more time to pull it all together. While we still don't have much to go in terms of a visual style for the movie, we know that the marketing has already taken on a more classic Jurassic style as seen with photos from the set and logos that have debuted along with the first teaser poster. And now we have discovered a small piece of merchandise that may give us our first tease of the new dinosaur in Jurassic World 3, revealed earlier this year by Dr. Alan Grant himself, the Giganotosaurus, or as Sam Neill would call it the Giganto, Gig, Giganato, Giga, um, so the Giganotosaurus. While the movie's delay came well in advance, that time sometimes isn't always enough for some of the tie-ins and merchandise that are already well into production, often locked and printed well in advance of the release. And that's exactly what we see here, with the discovery of this brand new, officially licensed Jurassic World backpack featuring the big, bad dino, the Giganotosaurus. But hold up, it's not just a backpack, it's also a notebook, what looks like a pencil case, all your traditional back to school merchandise slapped with the skeleton of the new featured dinosaur debuting next year in Jurassic World Dominion. To the average moviegoer, this won't mean much. The bones of the dinosaurs are synonymous with the franchise and often seen within the marketing. But to those with a vast knowledge of dinosaurs or even the knowledge of what the Jurassic dinosaurs look like, this dinosaur will stand out and is visually more striking than what we've seen prior. It almost appears to be more Godzilla 98 in style. What else does the merchandise reveal? If you look closely, you'll see the words unstable sequence and a big warning slapped on the front of the backpack. While the backpack itself doesn't say the words Dominion, most marketing often just holds the Jurassic World logo as the sole branding, switching key art per movie as we saw with the volcano for Fallen Kingdom merchandise. This time, however, we're seeing a focus on DNA sequencing. Are dinosaurs being bred again and by who? That certainly is the current theory with Dominion and we know the company Biosyn, rivals to InGen, are making their debut in the movie. Could the Giganotosaurus be their creation? Have they mastered the art of cloning a dinosaur, or does Giga pose an even more dangerous threat, having an unstable sequence? Other Jurassic World Dominion merchandise is beginning to show up too, and while minor, it does reveal part of the visual style that Dominion will hold. These kinder Easter eggs will have shown up in stores and show snowy mountains which align with the set photos from Pinewood Studios, which showcased a snowy environment. Inside those eggs, however, more artwork is revealed, this time showing Blue on a snowy environment. Where did Blue go after Fallen Kingdom? She runs into the Californian forest, but does she end up somewhere snowy, or is she kidnapped, brought into a snowy environment? Only a select few photos from the filming of Jurassic World Dominion feature that snowy environment, but we know filming in Canada early 2020 was utilizing its white environment, and the only two photos from the Dominion on the official website featured snow, so it's pretty safe to say we'll be visiting a rather chilly environment this time around. It's also worth mentioning that the working title for Dominion was Arcadia, and that came with a logo, one featuring snowy mountains. So we're likely beginning to see early marketing for Jurassic World Dominion coming out and hitting shelves featuring safe art that teases a visual style for the movie, bridging the gap to the full onslaught of Dominion merch and marketing that will begin to hit us later this year and into 2022, all the way up to the much anticipated release on June 10th, 2022. This Giganotosaurus skull, aside from the confirmation from Dr. Alan Grant himself, is confirmation that Dominion features a new dinosaur a big bad dinosaur that may or may not feature an unstable sequence, which could result in genetic abnormalities similar to what we saw with the Indoraptor. So what do you think of this artwork, and how excited are you for Jurassic World Dominion? Be sure to let us know in the comment section down below, and if you like this video, of course, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned for more. The Jurassic Outpost store is open, selling Jurassic-themed shirts, mugs, masks, and more. Head to JurassicOutpost.com store to check it out. And check the description for links to Zavi. Use discount code OUTPOST20 for 20% discount on both the Primal and Festival clothing collections. 
and you can use Outpost 10 site-wide for 10% off. As always, head to JurassicOutpost.com for more news and information. <laughs>